I'm Brian Christner, and this is The Byte, a bite-sized podcast about containers, cloud, and tech. Welcome back to The Byte. This is episode number 55. In this episode, we're going to talk about Amazon Bottle Rocket. AWS recently announced their new container operating system called Bottle Rocket, and it is focusing on security, for one, obviously, because security is always on our minds. It's also open source, so this is one of the few uh, operating systems that Amazon's actually working on and releasing as an open source project. And it's optimized for AWS integrations. That means you know it's gonna play well with the other AWS services. And finally, they announced that it's gonna lower your costs because you don't need a full-size VM to run EKS or ECS. It's really a container operating system. So it's super lightweight, built only for running containers, nothing else. It is still in preview, so general availability is gonna be announced, I would say, within the next couple of months. And so what is a container operating system? Unlike typical Linux distributions, uh, a container operating system root file system is read only. That means you basically launch the, the container operating system and you launch your containers on top of this operating system. If you want to upgrade the operating system, you basically chain, you're remounting a file, the root file system with the new kernel and there you go, you're up and running. You're not making any modifications to the file system or the Linux distribution itself. You're actually like replacing the entire operating system instead of upgrading. It's a different approach, but it's super lightweight. It's more secure because it's uh, you know really slimmed down to only run containers, so you can't really SSH into these things. You can enable some SSH functionality, but uh, generally it's uh, you know on a need as on a needed basis. So if you need to add things, you can add it in there. But you're not going to be installing new software or these things inside these uh, container operating systems as a rule of thumb. Now, the AWS Bottle Rocket roadmap has some interesting things in there because they're currently working with EKS, so it does support EKS, but uh, future iterations of the roadmap will support also ECS. They're working on some SE Linux improvements. I also saw on the roadmap that uh, they want to support also ARM64. And, you know, there's a lot of issues opened already considering it's a new project, so it has a lot of interest already. Uh, they also want to incorporate it with the micro VM uh, firecracker, which, you know, you have a micro VM and a container operating system. It must be just lightning fast to execute uh, tasks. This might be the new way to go with uh, maybe Lambda. I don't know. So let's see. Some notable features inside uh, Bottle Rocket is the API access. So it's uh, like we said, it's secure right out of the box and it's all open source so they're really embracing open source so customers can actually produce their own custom builds which allows them to you know modify it for their particular orchestrator their deployment and this opens up a whole new level of integration and um, customizations security is a top priority obviously because we said that before with a container os it's really minimal so you're already reducing your security footprint and you know updates like i mentioned before it's a read-only file system and how we do the updates is you're flipping the partition so you just take out the root file system you put a new one in there and you're up and running with a new version there you go it's optimized performance through aws integrations which means uh, it will play well with other AWS services, S3, ECS, EKS. I mean, it's going to be, it's an AWS service after, at the end of the day. So it should just run with other things. And finally, it, um, after GA is announced, it will support three years. Um, it'll have three years support added on to this as well. So it's a relatively new uh, container operating system in the market. There are other competitors around. For example, CoreOS was around for a long time. Uh, I just saw on their website that they are discontinuing Core OS Container OS May 26, 2020, I believe it was. So that's a bit sad, but I, Red Hat will have some other plans for that, I'm sure. Uh, the other operating system, which I've used a couple of times and absolutely love, which is Rancher OS, but it's managed by a very small team in comparison to Amazon. I, I looked at the Bottle Rocket OS repository and there's a lot of contributors, there's a lot of action. A lot of interest. It already has a uh, two thousand stars, considering it's only available just uh, 
couple weeks. And I, I can see this gaining a lot of traction and maybe it becomes the new standard container OS. Let's see. Anyway, that's Amazon Bottle Rocket. AWS Bottle Rocket, episode number 55. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time, episode number 55. And next week, we have a great uh, interview coming up. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Byte. You can find the show notes at thebyte.io and follow me on Twitter at I Do My Own Tricks.